China's J-10C fighter has entered a new phase with the integration of a compact anti-ship ballistic missile, dramatically expanding its mission scope. This development signals a shift in how lightweight fighters can project reach and influence beyond traditional roles. In this video, we break down how this integration was identified, why it matters for modern air power design, and what it reveals about the future of flexible, high-impact aviation platforms. The significance of this development begins with clear visual confirmation. Officially released material from China's Eastern Theater Air Force shows the J-10C carrying a large, unfamiliar missile beneath its fuselage, one that does not match any previously known weapons associated with this aircraft. This immediately signaled that the fighter's mission profile had expanded beyond its established roles. The missile's design provides the strongest evidence. Its thick body, blunt nose, and overall proportions closely resemble a scaled-down version of the YJ-21 anti-ship ballistic missile, a system previously associated only with large bomber platforms. Unlike cruise missiles or glide weapons, this missile's shape indicates a ballistic flight profile, suggesting extremely high speed and a steep terminal trajectory. Context strengthens this assessment. Prior to this sighting, a compact ballistic-style missile had already been observed mounted on China's CH-9 unmanned attack aircraft. That earlier appearance indicated active efforts to miniaturize ballistic missile technology for lighter platforms. The J-10C integration appears to be the next logical step in that progression, moving from unmanned systems to a frontline crewed fighter. Technical estimates further support this conclusion. Based on its size relative to the aircraft and its mounting configuration, analysts believe the missile weighs well under 1,000 kilograms, placing it within the carrying capacity of a single-engine fighter. Its estimated range, around 500 kilometers, is shorter than the full-scale YJ-21 but still far exceeds traditional air-launched anti-ship weapons. Equally important is how the missile is carried. The configuration suggests real integration rather than a symbolic display, indicating advanced testing or early operational evaluation. While official confirmation of full deployment has not been released, the available evidence strongly supports that the J-10C has been adapted to carry a genuine anti-ship ballistic missile, marking a clear expansion of its mission scope and operational relevance. What truly sets this development apart is not just the missile itself, but how it reshapes the identity of the J-10C. Lightweight fighters have traditionally been optimized for speed, flexibility, and regional reach. By integrating an anti-ship ballistic missile, the J-10C moves beyond those expectations and steps into an entirely broader mission category. This integration changes what a single aircraft can contribute. Instead of relying on larger, more specialized platforms to project long-distance reach over maritime spaces, a multi-role fighter now carries that capability itself. This does not replace other aircraft types, but it redistributes responsibility across the force. The result is a more flexible system where advanced reach is no longer concentrated in a small number of platforms. The design logic behind this shift is efficiency. The J. 10C is produced in steady numbers, operates from diverse airfields, and requires comparatively modest support. When such an aircraft gains extended reach through missile integration, the overall force gains depth without adding complexity. That is a powerful concept, expanding capability without expanding fleet size or infrastructure. There is also a timing advantage. Fighters like the J-10C can be deployed quickly, repositioned easily, and adapted to different mission sets through training rather than structural redesign. Adding a ballistic-style missile extends influence without altering the aircraft's core strengths. This makes the fighter more versatile rather than more specialized. Most importantly, this integration reflects a design philosophy focused on adaptability. Instead of building entirely new aircraft for each emerging requirement, existing platforms are upgraded to absorb new roles. That approach accelerates innovation while controlling cost and risk. In simple terms, the J-10C is no longer just a multi-role fighter with incremental upgrades. It becomes a platform capable of shaping events far beyond its traditional envelope.
That redefinition of role is the real story, and it sets the stage for even wider implications. This expanded mission scope also changes how planners think about force balance. Instead of assigning different aircraft to narrowly defined roles, a single adaptable platform can now cover wider operational needs. Once an aircraft's mission scope expands, its influence naturally extends outward. The J-10CS new capability is not only relevant to domestic planning. It significantly alters how the aircraft is perceived internationally. The J-10C is already positioned as one of China's most mature and widely discussed export fighters. It is in service with the Pakistan Air Force, and Indonesian officials have publicly confirmed major procurement plans. Interest from other countries has also been reported. What changes now is not the aircraft's availability, but its strategic appeal. Traditionally, long-range maritime reach required access to larger platforms or layered systems that were costly to acquire and maintain. By integrating a compact ballistic missile onto a multi-role fighter, that threshold is lowered. Air forces operating relatively small fleets could gain access to capabilities that once demanded far greater investment. From an export perspective, this creates a compelling narrative. A single fighter type that can adapt to air defense, conventional strike, and extended maritime missions simplifies training pipelines, logistics chains, and long-term planning. For countries balancing capability against budget, that flexibility is extremely attractive. There is also a broader lesson embedded here. This development reflects a move away from concentrating advanced functions on a few elite systems. Instead, Capability is distributed across platforms that are already in service. That same logic is visible across modern technology, from satellite networks to unmanned platforms, where resilience and adaptability matter as much as raw performance. It is important to note that this missile may still be in a testing or limited integration phase. However, once compatibility is demonstrated on one fighter, Expanding that capability becomes a matter of refinement rather than reinvention. Analysts are already considering whether similar integrations could appear on other aircraft, further extending this approach. Ultimately, this is not just an upgrade. It is a shift in how advanced aviation capability can be packaged, shared, and scaled globally. Over time, this approach could influence how future partnerships are structured. Training programs, shared doctrines, and long-term procurement strategies may increasingly favor adaptable platforms that can grow with evolving needs, rather than fixed-role aircraft. That mindset shift could quietly reshape how many countries plan their next generation of air power. This development is not simply about adding a new missile to an existing aircraft. It shows how modern air power is evolving toward flexibility, integration, and smart expansion of roles. By enabling a lightweight fighter to carry a ballistic-style anti-ship missile, China has demonstrated that mission scope can grow without redesigning the entire force. The larger lesson is clear. Future aviation strength will depend less on single-purpose platforms and more on how effectively existing systems adapt to new demands. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.